now chrome is quite a specific tool uh, most people won't have one of these in their shed uh, you won't find them in a lot of sort of garden centers so the best thing to do is you can utilize other things so a general garden rake can be used one of the stronger ones can be used to take out vegetation um, be careful if you're reaching into a pond. That's the classic is you're reaching into the pond to take out some debris, you can fall in. Especially at this time of year, a small pond can, it can provide cold water shock. Uh, and there's also quite a lot of bacteria which could lead to infections if you fall into fresh water. So try and avoid falling into the pond at all circumstances. Something like this grabber is quite handy for taking out small debris especially throughout the year, because you're gonna have things falling into the pond throughout the year. And this is something easy to grab. You can then use it to take out vegetation. If you've got some uh, windblown litter that's got into the pond, a good thing to be aware of with litter is glass bottles and plastic bottles and cans as well they can act like a trap for things like amphibians and tadpoles and they can get stuck inside them. So anything like that you want to remove from the pond as soon as possible. So something like this is quite handy. You can take out large sticks. And if you're doing this on a regular basis, so every year or at, at the end of autumn and just before spring, it means you're taking out less in one go. So it doesn't have to be a big, big job. If we leave a pond of this size for five years in a location like this with no vegetation being taken out in that time, it can turn into a very big job. It can turn into a situation where we've got a big root mat of different plants that we've got to drag out. And it's a lot of effort. 